What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and as you guys can see right here we have an intake manifold. I have just removed this from my 2008 BMW 520D. Now as you may know most modern diesels will come fitted from factory with an EGR valve and you may know that the EGR valve can cause some common problems with a modern day diesel. I'm going to be showing you some of those problems that the EGR itself does cause. Now on this engine there is also a crankcase breather which basically takes the crankcase oil vapors back through the air intake. Now couple that with the exhaust gases, the sooty exhaust gases coming through the EGR back into the intake manifold, you are then left with a oily, sooty mess in the intake manifold. Now I will show you right now, this is what you can expect to find. Each intake port is completely caked with oily, sooty mess. Now not only does this cause a mess in your engine bay, as you can see here, some has actually managed to escape the intake manifold, but it also restricts airflow as well. As you can see, these intake ports are a lot smaller now, so it means less airflow going into the cylinder head. Now in this intake manifold, there is swirl flaps. Now it is common on some engines for swirl flaps to fail. Now that is mainly due to the fact that they get covered in this oily, sooty carbon mess and then they come loose and they actually fall into the cylinder head causing catastrophic engine failure. So you're seeing here firsthand the damage that an EGR valve can cause. Now it wasn't very easy to remove this intake manifold. It takes a few hours work to get this thing out. So it's not just a case of undoing a couple of bolts and taking this out and then cleaning it every month or so. It's a lot of work if you want to keep on top of this thing and keep it clean. Now here's just a look at what you would think is a throttle body. It's not a throttle body. Diesels do not have throttle bodies. This is a anti shudder valve. It stays fully open when the engine is running and then it closes when the engine is not running. But this itself can also get filled up with a sooty oily mess as you can see and when it does so it can actually lead to this butterfly valve failing and not working as it should. Now then in another video I'm going to show you how to completely strip this thing down, clean it out and make it as good as new again and hopefully not ever have to end up like how it is right now. Okay then, so this is what you can expect your 120,000 mile intake manifold on your diesel engine to look like. It will be pretty gunked up with an oily, sooty carbon mess. I would recommend removing it, inspecting it, having a look at the health of the swirl flaps, see if any of them are loose. If they are, then I would consider removing them. If not, then I would leave them in place. But for sure, I would give this whole thing a big clean out. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope it has teach you the problems that the EGR valve itself can cause. Okay, so I just want to thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like if you have enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in that next video.